Hello everybody, how are we all doing? My name is Julie and this is my wonderful assistant, Siri. Hey Siri, can you say hello? The sun is off. Well, that's, let's go. Okay, well, my name is Julie and this is my assistant, Siri. And today we'll be talking about artificial intelligence, challenges and opportunities. Oh my god, I forgot to twist the mic. There we go. So what exactly is artificial intelligence? Well, artificial intelligence is the ability of a robot or computer controlled by a robot to do things that usually needs humans because they need humans' intelligence and discernment. Okay, so let's play a little game. Who here has a phone? Can you raise your hand? Who here has a ride-hauling app? Like, I don't know, maybe Grab? Who here has social media? Like Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter? Who here has a digital assistant? And who here has a search and recommendation algorithm? We all have those things because artificial intelligence plays a large part in our life. It is currently increasing and modernizing in our life right now. So obviously there are always some pros and cons. So what are some pros of using artificial intelligence? Well, they don't get tired easily. They don't wear out because they need electricity and engine and machinery. Secondly, they are rational decision makers. They can be applied in the metal industry, medical industry, I'm so sorry. Um, they are accurate decision makings and they are selfless with no break. But obviously there are some cons, right? What are the cons? They are costly. They can lead to unemployment amongst us humans, humankind, because they start replacing us. They have no improvement with experience, unlike us, who improve over time, like perfecting the technique. They lack in creativity, because we, as humans, are very creative. Well, what are some opportunities of using AI? Number one, they can reduce inhuman error. Because we, as humans, were born with error, so we tend to make mistakes from time to time. However, by using AI as a stand-in, we reduce that risk almost entirely. Second, they test worse instead of humans. For example, in this COVID pandemic, the interaction between the medical staff and the patient is extremely risky. So by using AI, we reduce that risk almost entirely. Number three, they are available 24-7. Number four, they can help us in repeated jobs, like being cashier or taking out information that doesn't require any kind of knowledge. Four big opportunities in artificial intelligence. According to INC, they can understand big data. Okay, taking down information is easy enough, but there's a difference between truly understanding something and taking it down. So AI could help us to understand these millions of data around the world. Second, they make a smarter assistant. We all know how great Siri is, but she's far from perfect. So we could improve her by making her smarter, more understanding. Second, they can understand emotion. Right now, many AI are making an incredible step up from its past self but they can still not understand human emotion enough. So in the future, we could one day understand human emotion by using AI. They make smarter robots. We all make robots these days because it's the future. So by using AI, we can make it even smarter. Now, some challenges. Wait, jobs, I forgot. Okay, so we have jobs. So here are the potential industries that might tap into. Healthcare, manufacturing, transportation, education, information technology, or IT, BI, business intelligence, supply chain management, SCM, construction, retail, cybersecurity, etc. 
potential challenges, bias, manpower, and data privacy and security. So why is bias a problem? Well, since we have good data, we will also have bad data. And these bad and biased data could be laced with racial, ethnic, gender, communal bias. And these bad data could be used to make these vital decisions that could go unrecognized, unrecognized if we don't check it. So AI could use using this information. Thirdly, manpower. Why is manpower a problem? Because AI is emerging industry and technology. Not many possess the skill to do it. So most of the time, we end up with a thing called lack of manpower. And these AI machines that needs to be coded cannot be coded. So most of the times, the IT company end up using most of their budget to fund these trainees and interns to code and make these machines. Thirdly, privacy and data security. Why is that a problem? Well, we have data, but this data is generated from millions of users around the world. And these data could be used for bad purposes. For example, cyber attack, blackmailing, extortion. Okay, I'm pretty sure all of you have seen or heard of the movie The Terminator. Have it ever crossed your mind that one day AI could take over the world? Well, if you're wondering about that, then absolutely not, they cannot take over the world. Why is that? They don't have a vision, they don't have a purpose, and they cannot do things on their own unless someone has done it that way. Ooh, that's stupid. Okay, so through deep learning, they can only improve the efficiency of what AI was designed for, so there's no chance of them taking over the world. But to reduce the work entirely, just don't treat them badly. So in conclusion, opportunities we have, understanding big data, making smarter assistants, understanding emotions, making smarter robots, challenges, bias, manpower, unemployment, and lack of creativity, and high pricing too, very costly. So before I end, I would like to give credits to all my sources of information. And thank you for listening.